Yes. So let me get this straight. I'll repeat back to you what I think I understand about nitric oxide, and you tell me if it's accurate. So this nitric oxide is a chemical that is in all the blood cells of my body, and it allows my blood cells to basically expand, open up, so blood can flow through there. So if well, I dilates, it dilates the smooth muscle. Okay. It's not affecting the yes. cells per se, but it's dilating the smooth muscle that surrounds the blood vessels, which is that leads the, to re- relaxation and dilation. Fine. So my blood cells would then expand. Your blood vessels, and more yeah. blood would go through there. But if I'm deficient, that mechanism doesn't work, and my blood cells wouldn't expand, ultimately expand through the relaxation of the muscles. That's right. And therefore, I would have higher blood pressure, which can lead to a, a series of downstream diseases and consequences. And so when we look at the graph that I showed a second ago, where we're seeing, for anyone that can't see this graph because you're listening on audio, we're seeing nitric oxide levels in young people up to the age of roughly around 20 are optimal. And then from about 30 to 70, there's this tremendous sort of 80, 90% drop. 